Are you ever walk into the kitchen through your living room, catch a glimpse of your PS5 staring at you out of the corner of your eye and think, wow, you're a bland, boring, vanilla, timid piece of shit. And I'd like to add a little spice to our relationship. You've been looking the same for two years since you entered my apartment or house. And I've seen AK-40 Kevin and the Gamer Heaven community doing some exciting and spicy things on the internet. And I thought maybe we could try them at home as well. Sit down your PS5 and make sure that you guys are on the same terms with this kind of change. Now, decals, skins, or stickers, basically, those thick 3M stickers are pretty Pretty sweet because if you ever want to revert your console back to stock because you want to trade it into GameStop for a switcheroo or you come under hard times and want to sell it or you just want to change up the look of it because you get sick of the color or pattern that you picked out six months ago, you can just easily change the stickers. Plates are awesome because they completely change the looks of the PS5 with sculpted side plates that generally have cutouts for the intake fans. I'll cover later if that's an issue with dust intake and we'll also look at the interior of one of my PS5s and see if dust has really accumulated much. But I have to say the new Extreme Rate X covers that just hit the market are my favorite because of the sculpted design, which I think looks absolutely amazing. I do wish they had more colorways or patterns. There's only four designs available. $70 is relatively reasonable on par with the asking of AIM. D-Brands is a little bit cheaper if you skimp on this little centerpiece, but this kit does come with two matching centerpiece stickers. There's that. Today, to mix things up in the relationship of my PS5 and I, because things have gotten a little bit stagnant recently, and she's just been sitting there in the entertainment center looking all dusty and crazy. Rusty and well, not dusty. I, I clean her pretty regularly. I take good care of my consoles, but things haven't been the same. And hopefully the RGB LED lights we're adding today and these side panels will, will give us a new lease on our relationship. All satire aside, I've been using my PS5 more than any other gaming device I have in my house. Steam Deck, PC, other consoles. I made a video recently where I was like, yep, PS5 just been getting slathered with my gaming goo here recently. That hasn't changed, especially now that I got PSVR 2. Review linked in the description below. I'm getting sidetracked. Side panels or plates, customizing the PS5, running the intro, hesitating not, do it. Quick disclaimer for my audience, the Stallions and Stallionettes, these plates were sent for review, but this is going to be an honest, comprehensive review. I haven't been paid or told to say anything about them, so if there's any cons, shortcomings, or areas of improvement, you're going to hear about it. So these companies make better products over time. Now, I've had the same Play Vital vinyl decal or sticker kit on this PS5 for about two years since I got the console. Looks phenomenally, starting to peel a little bit on the edges, but nothing out of the ordinary. But I personally prefer to change the entire side plates rather than just putting on a sticker or decal kit because you can still kind of see the original color that vanilla white that Sony decided to go with with this reverse Oreo design on the PlayStation 5. And a lot of these aftermarket plates are actually using a different shape or design, which I think looks a little bit cosmetically more pleasing. A pleasing? Appealing? One of those. It looks better to the corneas. And a lot of them also include a little cutout for the intake fan. There's one fan, but it sucks from both sides. It's an intake on each side. Now, if you have your console in vertical orientation on the stand, no issue here for dust intake, as dust most likely isn't going to drop and then suck in. It's just not how gravity works. But be a little bit cognizant with plates like those if you are going to have your console sideways or horizontal because those are intake fans. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I have inspected plates like D-Brands and the AIM plates that I have on the other PS5 over there. I pop them off, wipe the inside and outside for dust, and there's virtually no dust coming in those intake slots. So I actually appreciate the design aspect of having a hole cut out. I don't think it's detrimental for dust intake. I think it's beneficial for air intake considering that fan isn't completely covered. Yes, it still does suck in from the sides of the plates, but wouldn't you also like to have direct intake as well? I sure as hell would. Cool, so now we know why I prefer plates over decals. They look better and they perform better. I mean, honestly, the cooling benefits are probably negligent. It's probably like 2%, if that. It looks doper, that's the main thing. That's why we have the side panels or plates off. We're also gonna install an RGB LED light kit as well, which should boost my KD ratio in Call of Duty and also add frames per second to our console. It doesn't do either of those things, but it will look pretty sick because it's RGB. And if you don't like it, you gotta remove you can dim it, turn it off. Although if you didn't like it, you wouldn't be spending the money to buy the kit and install it anyway. So cool, take the plates off. As for the packaging on these $70 plates from Extreme Rate, I'm gonna open it from the bottom. Okay, nice, good, good. Good, good. Hopefully you like to see it because I like to see it as well with some bubble wrap in there. And we also have a couple of cardboard dividers for each plate. Now as with the AIM plates, these Extreme Rate plates or panels are only available for the disc version, which is the PlayStation 5 version that I strongly recommend users pop for. If you're wondering why, little class action lawsuit but uh, not with me, I'm not involved. Sony is though, it is linked in the description below, not the whole class action lawsuit, but a video explaining why you wanna pop for the disc version, even though it's 
$100 more. It's going to save you a fortune throughout ownership of the PlayStation 5. Having said that, a lot of plates or panel companies only make panels for the, the full regalia, the full beans, the optical disc drive PS5. Now, this little bandolier of sauciness right here is actually a decal for the center strip section, which is great because that gloss or piano black, you already know because I say it every single time that I encounter this material, but they collect fingerprints and eventually micro scratches like nobody's business, and it just looks tacky in my opinion. Gloss piano black doesn't really look that saucy to me, but this is the sauce that we will be saucing it with, this little decal. There's a second one in case you fuck up the first one, which is a, a possibility. Because when you're applying vinyl decals, the adhesive is so strong that if you mess up the first time recentering it, you're probably not going to have the same strength in the adhesive that you would that first time. I, I actually really do like the way that they package these, even though it's just bubble wrap. Your installation tools and accessories are in here, and your instruction manual, pamphlet, or brochure. Now, standing at the altar, I'm ready to peel her out of that veil and get a peek at the goods. And I'm glad we waited for installation because this is going to be well worth it, I can tell. Two things to note with these plates, they do have a nice aggressive cut in. I personally love the shape of these plates. Aggressive and sculpted and this looks sick as fuck. Second note is going to be you are missing out on this cutout that has the PlayStation logo as since it is not a licensed Sony product, it doesn't have that, that branding, that licensing to have that logo there. And Sony's quite serious about that. For example, this PlayStation shirt here, there's TMs for trademark there. There's a little R for registered down there. And all this small text at the bottom is trademark crap. So cosmetically, I think that does suck not having that little PlayStation logo, but legal companies like D Brands, AIM, Extreme Rate, Play Vital can't do that. Or they could, but it wouldn't be on the market for a couple of weeks before Sony serves them a nice little cease and desist. That's exactly what we saw with D Brands, their original plates. That's when they moved to the 2.0s, which in my opinion are a big upgrade. They, they're, they're, they're better plates. <laughs> Mm, my God. So these look and feel incredibly high quality. Three notes right off the bat. The plastics do feel nice. They feel chunky. They don't feel cheap and chintzy and flimsy and all those other words that I use to describe cheap shit on this channel. Two, the graphic, the hydro dipping actually looks very good. The picture is actually pretty high resolution. It's all fuzzy and blurry. And I really do like the separate little section here for the optical disc drive, even though I bash on gloss black, piano black. That does look a lot more premium and it does look a lot more more OEM, if you will, a lot more factory like that, in my opinion. That looks really nice. You're going to have a very tiny microfiber wipe, some alcohol pads to clean the surface, a Game Boy original looking gamer manual, which is actually a little thank you card, your instruction manual pamphlet or brochure, which I'm a big fan. English is the only language, good font, large pictures. They aren't color, but very descriptive and walk you through installing this bad boy. Things making way more noise than usual. She's sputtering right now. Might be low on juice. You are going to have these massive rubberized pads. You might be wondering what the heck these are for. These are going to go on the bottom of the panels, considering with these plates or panels, you are not going to be able to use your stand, your PlayStation 5 stand, which it says in the instruction manual to use. Don't worry, no issue here, because with the clearance that you're going to get from these rubberized pads, this is exactly what the stand would have offered you. And then some further rubberized pads that actually go on the bottom of the plate. These are going to go on your table where you would set your PS5. So basically rubber on rubber contact rather than plastic on your table. Apply firm and even pressure over the PlayStation logo and pull up up and push down at the same time. That doesn't make any sense, but that's what you're going to do. As you can see, the interior guts of this PS5 is pretty clean. Removing the old Play Vital decal, by the way, Play Vital is the same company as Extreme Rate, just a different branch or offshoot. I do recommend testing the light strips before you put the panels or plates back on to make sure they work. These LED light strips weren't staying in place. The included kit doesn't have any kind of 3M double-sided tape, but luckily I have my own Gorilla Tape on hand. To keep these strips well positioned, then I'm going to snap the plates or panels into place. Now, the included 3M adhesive pads can be installed at the user's discretion. However, this is the placement that I believe makes the most sense. As since you can't use the included PS5's vertical stand, you're just going to be resting this console directly on the plastic plates. So I like having this additional protection.
Now when installing the center trim sticker, I recommend lining up the front USB ports and buttons, and everything else should fall into place. Once you have your USB ports lined up, I started at the bottom and used my thumb to get any air bubbles out, but I do also have a hard plastic squeegee on hand that I've used for window tinting in the past that I could use to extract any air bubbles, but the first application actually went very good. So I actually really prefer the LED RGB strips on the PS5 we worked on today versus the kit that I've installed previously on the channel, which is weird because they're also from Extreme Rate, but they're two different models. I'll have separated and specified in the description which one's which, but I do believe this model is a lot brighter, more vibrant, the colors look more accurate and rich, and more importantly than all of that, you can actually see the individual LED light bulbs, which I think looks incredibly tacky on that model. But over here, it's one of those rope RGB lights that is one completely sealed piece, which which I personally think looks much better and I will be changing, upgrading, or swapping those lights for these lights. As for the warranty system in place with Play Vital, Hex Gaming, and Extreme Rate, because keep in mind they are sister, brother, company, they're all in the same family. We're not really sure if the chicken came before the egg, but I'm pretty gosh darn sure that Extreme Rate was the original company that started making components, and then Play Vital started making an additional line of components, and Hex Gaming is their pre-assembled premium or pro controllers. And this whole umbrella of companies carries a six-month warranty on all of their products, these plates included, so that's a con. So we're going to start right here with the con segment. The next con, as with most of these panel or plate companies, these aftermarket third-party companies, this only comes in the disc, the optical disc version, not the disc disc or digital only version, which again, I do believe I mentioned it previously in the video, but I don't recommend getting that version of the console video linked in the description below explaining why. But the next shortcoming or con is going to be the lack of themes or colors, if you will, colorways, patterns. There's only four designs here. You have this carbon fiber, which I will say does look, at least from the pictures, you know, pictures you can't really judge until you get it right up in your corneas, but this does look to be a very high quality print, nice glossy faux carbon fiber. The only thing a little bit wonky there is that the panels are glossy and then that strip of carbon fiber down the center piece is matte or flat. That might look a little weird because you see you don't really have that issue over here with the wood grain one, which I will say looks very handsome in my opinion. It looks a little bit like satin on the panels and then like flat matte in the center, but it's not glossy is the point here. The only thing gloss is that little section for the optical disc drive, which is a pro. I'll talk about it later, but there's a reason that Extreme Rate went with this design and it's it's great that they did this. As for the pros, these plates or panels look the most cosmetically pleasing in my opinion. Those little jagged edges look so sweet. Also the hydro dipping graphic on the panels as well as the little stick on strip for the middle. The trim section is actually very high resolution and the final pro is going to be around the optical disc drive. They went with a separate piece of plastic which is just a little glossy section which I still wish Extreme Rate would have went with a flat matte finish there instead of gloss but by using a separate plastic piece instead of attempting and I do say attempting because it's virtually impossible, speaking from experience here, to hydro dip inside that little crease. In fact, even on the aim controller plates, I mentioned during that review and showed via B-roll close-up footage that around that little section, the hydro dipping was, for lack of a better word, fucked up. And Extreme Rate knows that there would be consistency issues with the quality control if they don't just use a separate piece in there. So they did, and it looks good. It looks OEM, it looks factory, and they're not gonna have to worry about issues hydro dipping inside that little disc slot. So that's great. So since these plates are competitively priced against D brands, aim controllers, and a bunch of the generic third-party options on Amazon. If you're down with one of the four designs, the carbon fiber, the wood grain, the Joker theme, or the great wave that I got, then as with everything that I've tested from Extreme Rate thus far, these are awesome. Like, no surprise there. I've been using Extreme Rate parts for controller builds for years. I've used their decals on consoles, and no surprise that now that they've introduced plates or panels, these are high quality too, and I like them a lot. I like it a lot. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. To get in touch with myself and the Stallions 
and stallionettes of gamer heaven, join the community discord and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding. Starting June, I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven, and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes, most of the time. Peace.